Welcome back. Your movie friend Aaron Dicer is here and some new releases this weekend. But today we are going to talk about the top five movie picks, his picks. I love doing this. Summer. I do too. I like this. Because I want to see, taking a look like, at, you know, the what last, do I need to rent on DVD? Exactly. The last six months, see what's there. And yes, if you want to see the reviews from this weekend, of course, they'll be at the website. So you can certainly check those out there. And also would preface this by saying you won't see Guardians of the Galaxy, even though I loved it on this list, because it's the second half of the year right now. Right. So it's not technically on that list. You also won't see movies like uh, the new X-Men movie. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you also won't see Grand Budapest Hotel. Even though those are great movies, that just speaks to how great this first half of the year really was. So okay. you want to so get 2014, started? 2014, top five. Here we go. All right, we'll start with number five. Number five is Edge of Tomorrow. Now, this was the Tom Cruise movie where he kind of had these time jumps going on in his life. Big action movie. And this is just Tom Cruise being Tom Cruise. And it was one of those movies that really surprised people this summer. Wasn't expected to be that big of a hit, but it really has been. And I think a lot of that comes down to it's just a really well-made, fun movie. And people really enjoyed watching it. And they enjoy watching Tom Cruise. Yeah, Tom Cruise is Tom Cruise. I He's amazing. from the ladies. <laughs> just kidding. Okay, so number four. Number four. Captain America Winter Soldier in at number four for my best movies of the first half of the year. This was Marvel just hitting it out of the park again. I loved the first Captain America movie, and this one takes everything about the first one and amps it up even more. It's kind of that, you know, Americana feel. You just feel like it's a stand-up guy in a stand-up movie doing amazing things. So I love the Captain America movies. No surprise that it's in at number four. Okay, number three. Number three, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Uh, this is one of those action movies that is also a thinking movie. Some really great messages here about what tribalism means in our world and about what it means to separate ourselves, you know, us versus them kind of stuff. And so I love a movie that can make you think as well as, you know, give you the action. And right. And I remember the first time we reviewed that talking about like the you know, psychology and mm -hmm. the... Yeah, you know. it's really deep. Plus, the way they made this movie is really interesting. The motion capture and Andy Serkis playing, you know, these apes is just, it's really incredible and very emotional. All right, and the countdown is, is getting real here now. Number two and number one. Yeah, number two, the Lego movie. Uh, this is the only movie in the top five that actually didn't come out this summer. It is the only non-summer movie of my top five. It came out earlier in the spring. And Then how did it make your top Because it's the first oh, half of the year. Right, gotcha, yeah, not gotcha. just the summer, but the first half of the year. Right. This movie is fun, personified. They just did a great job not only capturing the fun it is to play with Legos and create, but also capturing the meaning about childhood and adulthood and how you change and, you know, uh, not leaving behind that kind of creative intelligence that you have as a child. There's, right. there's some real deep meaning in this one as well as just kind of the fun one-liners. This is just a funny, fun movie. All right, well, I will have to rent it indeed. Okay, mm -hmm. and drum roll. Number one is. It really shouldn't be a surprise. It was my only A plus that I've ever given. It's How to Train Your Dragon <laughs> You're a tough 2. You're critic, God, uh, You know what? I save those. You gotta save those for the best of the best. And this is one of the best of the best. Action's amazing. The visuals are amazing. The story is incredible. The emotion is incredible in this movie. Uh, they just really hit it out of the park with this. It is one where you just watch and you go, yeah, I could watch that a million times. I remember and enjoy how much you it loved every it. Every single time. Uh, yeah. I love that you loved it. It's so good. <laughs> How can you not love it? I know, it? It's I so do amazing. Need to see it. Yes. So, okay, yeah. so there are your top five movie picks from your movie friend himself, Aaron Dicer. And he will have all of the new releases on our website so you can go see uh, some reviews of those too if you'd like. Um, until next time, Aaron Dicer, thanks. Thanks. We're back after this.